Hi all and welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about sound problems and the microphone problems. A lot of people are having issues when they are working with their iPad or iPhone that they, either they don't hear anything if they play music or a video or maybe they, they are not able to record their own voice or when you talk on Skype or whatever communication app, uh, the persons in the other end are not able to hear your voice. So here are some uh, tips and tricks on how to uh, solve this. First of all, every time you have an issue with your iPad or iPhone, then it's always a good idea to uh, restart your device. I recommend people to restart their device every second day, then you are definitely sure that you uh, have a fresh memory in your device. So uh, have a shutdown, go into general, have a shutdown and uh, restart your device. And this will, uh, in a lot of issues, be a very helpful thing. So restart your device, always good. Next up is, let's have a look at the control panel you have here, where you have different icons that can either be uh, an issue to uh, your uh, sound. First of all, you have the sound bell here, then you can have it in silent mode on and off. So make sure that is off if you're not having any sound. The same thing goes for do not disturb. Make sure to have the do not disturb off. So uh, those two are very good to have a look at. Then you have your uh, how high your volume is. And you can of course go down, then it's in silent mode. And if you go up again a bit, then it is in some kind of mode where you can actually hear sound. So have a look at the control panel. It's always a good idea to navigate through those. But if that is not the, the issue, then you can go into settings. And in here we have a menu point section that is called sounds. And in here you have uh, some different uh, settings you can have a look at. The first one is here. As you can hear, you can turn all up and down the sound of the ringer and alerts. That is always a good idea to have a look at. But uh, the first section up here is the reduced loud sounds. Have a look at that. Maybe try to toggle it if you have it on or off. Maybe this is something that can disturb the things you are seeing on your device. So have a look at sounds. That is always a, a good idea. Then of course, then uh, on some and especially some of the older devices, you have a button to click here where you can actually turn off uh, turn up and down the sound on your device. So as you can see up here, I'm pushing my buttons. So have a look at that. See if you are able to turn up or down your volume. But a lot of times uh, you are see uh, having an app where you are trying to play music. I have my Spotify here. So as you can hear, there is some music now playing on my device. I'm using my buttons to turn it up and down and here again in the control panel but within your uh, app sometimes you actually have uh, controls of the sound in the specific app so have a look at the app settings for that specific app where you are not able to listen to music or hear the uh, game sound or whatever the problem is so if i turn on the music again here in Spotify, I can actually control the sound. So have a look at uh, your app settings and make sure that uh, it is not either turned off or whatever can, uh, can be the issue. The next thing is sometimes you have had headphones connected to your device. You can see I have some uh, headphones here and you can see I have two different kinds of uh, headsets, one with the new lightning port uh, stick and the other one was with the old jack stick. And uh, when you put that into your device, sometimes the device can actually be kept in headphone mode. And when you take it out, 
it will actually still stay in headphone mode. So try and put your uh, head stick into a device again and put it out again and do that a few times just to make sure that uh, it is not stuck in uh, headphone mode. We see, we see that uh, sometimes and uh, that could be really annoying to see that uh, the headphones is not actually in your device, but the device is still saying that you are in uh, headphone mode. So uh, have a look at if your device is in headphone mode and try to pull it out, put it in, pull it out and see if that will work. You can of course also today have uh, Bluetooth uh, headphones and uh, I have my AirPods here, but it can be various uh, brands that can have that. So uh, sometimes the sound is actually connected to a Bluetooth headset. So go into your settings and uh, if you are not able to see uh, if your device is actually connected to headphones, then just simply turn off your headphones or turn off your Bluetooth uh, device. You can control the Bluetooth in here in the control center and uh, make sure to try and turn it off and see if your sound can, uh, comes back into your uh, device. The settings in here can also be helpful for Bluetooth. Here you will actually be able to see if I try and take out mine here, then it at some point probably will say that it is connected. Right now it says not connected, so if I put one in my ear, it will probably, if I do this, say connected in a few seconds. As you can see up here in the new iOS, it says iPhones, uh, iPads, pods are connected uh, over here. So have a look at your Bluetooth settings and see if your Bluetooth headset uh, somehow has been connected. So just turn it off and try and have a look at this sound again. All right. Uh, one uh, thing you can also do if you are not having uh, control of your sound and you want to, you maybe are not able to use your buttons anymore because they are not working. I have had an iPhone where my volume up button didn't work anymore. Then I had to use some uh, uh, assistive in here. So uh, accessibility, you can go in and uh, down here on the touch, you can have the assistive touch turned on or off. And if you don't know what is assistive touch is, then just have a look here. When I turn it on, you get this small thing over here where you have different ways of controlling your iPad. So if I go into custom, uh, I have some things in here, but it was the device I wanted to go into. And in here you have the volume up and down. So I can turn up and down my volume in here. So that is a good way to have a look at an easy way to turn your volume up and down. I will uh, turn that off again and I will go into uh, assistive touch again and down here. We should uh, find something else. Accessibility and here we have a section called hearing and under hearing we have audio and visual and in here we have one setting that I see sometimes uh, a bit difficult for users to find and don't understand. But it can actually sometimes uh, be a bit uh, troublesome uh, regarding the sound on your device. So uh, if it's on, then try to turn it off and the other way around uh, and see if that can help you. Either the sound can get better or worse or whatever. But uh, have a look at the, this one just to make sure you know where it is under accessibility and down at the bottom, you have the hearing section. And in here you can have your mono audio turned either on or off. All right.
next one up is a microphone i want to just touch as well we, i have quite a few questions regarding microphone people are not able to get the microphone working or whatever uh, one thing i just want to show about that one is if you have a case i have a case for my ipad here uh, so if i drop it it will not get uh, damaged and uh, try and remove your case it can be either for your iphone or ipad uh, because sometimes the microphone on your device my microphone is actually located at the back here so sometimes the reason that people are not able to hear if you are talking with them on skype or whatever then it's sometimes that the case that is protecting your device is actually uh, sometimes the issue for not being able to hear but the other thing i also want to show is under settings and under privacy because in here we have uh, a setting for the microphone as you can see here microphone and in here you are able to turn on and off if your apps are allowed to use your microphone sometimes you don't want the app to use your micro microphone because it doesn't make sense that it uses it but as you can see i have skype i have zoom whatever uh, and i want of course those to be able to use my microphone so people are able to hear what I'm saying. So have a look if you are having issues with your microphone that your privacy settings are correct. So I guess uh, that was more or less all for today's topic. I hope you found some good tips and tricks. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon.